Okay, in this video I'm going to tell you how to work uh, with sets in Tableau and specifically with top end or bottom end sets. In this case we're going to be using the Superstore data set and we're going to be looking at the top 10 products based on sales. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is right click on the product name and I'm going to say create a set. I'm going to give this value, uh, this name of this set, a better name. It makes more sense. So top end products. And I'm going to click on the top menu here, by field. And you can either hard code the value such as 10, or you can use a parameter. You can create a new parameter directly from this screen, or you can hit top end here, which is a, a parameter that I've already created uh, called top end. I'm going to use the sales measure and aggregate by sum. You'll notice I now have a new sets section over here on my data pane. And if I bring in out over onto my row shelf, you'll see that I now have an in and out. Uh, to further highlight the products that are in and out of there, I'm going to create a new calculated field called rank. And this is going to use the table calculation index. I'm going to bring rank on here. And you'll notice I want to put rank in between the set and the product name, but you'll see Tableau won't let me because this is a continuous measure right now, and it's trying to put it to the right of all of my dimensions. So first I'm going to drop it on my marks card. I'm going to change this value to discrete. And now that that's a blue pill, I can now insert it in between my set and my product name. And you'll see here I have my which ones are in and which ones are out. The next thing that I could do um, is I want to go ahead and filter this by category. And you'll notice when I click on furniture, I only have one value in my set. When I click on office supplies, I only have five values in here. And when I click on technology, I have four. Not 10. Why not 10? I've already told it to be 10. Well, the reason is because my filter is not being taken into account. Tableau is calculating that set over the entire data set. So what we need to do is go to our filter shell we need to right click and say add to context. When we do that, this pill will change to gray. And you'll now see I have 10 products that are all technology products. If I click on office supplies, these 10 top 10 products are all office supplies. And if I click on all, I now have a mix of furniture, office supplies, and technology in my top 10. And I could show you that by putting category on the row shelf and you'll see that there is a mix across the category. So the next thing that we could do is we could hide our set in and out by right clicking and saying uncheck show header. We can get rid of that. So we have our rank and our products. And now we could actually create some hierarchy if we wanted. What we could do is create a new calculated field called product group. And we could say here if, if top end products then give me the name of the product itself. Oops. Product name. Else. Other. So what this is going to say is if it's within the top end set, then return the product name. Otherwise, just return the word other. I could hit OK. If I bring that product group over here and put a product name, you'll see that I now have the product name or I have other. What I could do with this now is I could create a hierarchy by clicking on both of those pills over here in my data pane. I could go to hierarchy, create hierarchy. We'll just leave it named that for now. And you'll see I now have a new hierarchy going from product group to name. I could now minimize that and you'll see I now have my top end products and when I take the product name off by using rolling up the hierarchy, everything that's other is now in this bottom line. This is sometimes helpful when you're trying to look at two or three really large values and then you have a thousand small values. You can roll them all up into other and keep them in the view. You can also drill down from there into the full detail if you wanted and then see the full product name. Next up, because we have our dynamic parameter here, I can change this number to top 15, and you'll notice that I now have the detail for the top 15. 
And to go along with that, I could use that parameter in my title. So if I were to edit my title, I could actually change that n to be the value of the parameter by clicking on insert and then parameters top n. So now I'm looking at the top 15 products. Now I'm looking at the top 50 products. Now I'm looking at the top 10 products and so on. So this is, I hope this was helpful on how to work with sets.